Welcome again. In this video, we'll discuss about QR card licensing and which all components are included and in any particular license. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Whenever we are talking about the licensing perspective of any applications, there are several questions are arising in our minds like which release version or license contains which all functionality, is it stable or not, and how it will react with my several other components. So resolving this issue, I came up with this video. So please watch from start to end so that you are able to understand in detail. So if you are looking for the licensing of UAPAR and their components, just Logging on forum.uapa.com or UAPA community forum and click on here. You are able to see UAPA licensing. Click on this and you are able to see commercial offerings. So commercial offering which all components are available for the commercial use or enterprise use. Which is UAPA licensing strategy provide customer coherent and comprehensive end-to-end -end automation platform. If we have not yet transitions over to the new commercial licensing based on user roles which is available from April 2020. You can also view the licensing guidelines from clicking on here. So let's open this one and see what all component. So licensing agreement is available inside this. You can download and read out the components. Then if you will move further, you will find out SKU of user roles which is available for different versions or different products of UiPath. You will find out the UiPath action center that is named user or multi user. You will also find out the software capabilities. What all capabilities are available, you can check it from Accent Center or clicking on these two links. Prerequisites are for the business roles. You can find out the prerequisites sections. It is similar for all other uh, application that is UiPath citizen developer named user or multi user. Then prerequisites are available here. And what all Components or UiPath software capabilities will provide like some details are available here. When moves to the SKU for robots, robots are also having different structures in terms of uh, software licensing and their components. You can find it out UiPath AI robots and the software capabilities are AI robot only. Requisites are these SKUs re requires orchestrator standard then you can also have a look on UiPath cloud document understanding page bundle that is state and document understanding process is available here you can find it out the prerequisites from here so this is also available for the management and governance perspective if any organization is not looking to adopt it in the compliance perspective of this product they can have a look on these sections which will include cloud automation hub that is standard on cloud and on premises basis and these all are UiPath software capabilities in including this they are providing the prerequisites for this in addition to that they are having platform versions on different different platform version which you can select it so let's uh, click on any of the automation capabilities and see what all components will get it. In product details, in product details section, you will find out each and every product details about the UiPath products. Guidelines if you have or if any guidelines and restrictions are available, you can read it from the guidelines sections and definitions particular components or the detail which is available on the commercial offerings you can find it out in definition section so if you are feeling anything in jargon in terms of technology language you can find it out detail definitions of the item lines which is listed here 
when you click on the any product sections like a uh, from commercial offering you, when you click on these all it will directly jump to their product life cycle and explain each and everything about the components of their products if you are really looking to get documentation you can click on this it will jump to their main hub page where you will find it out each and every components in detail so that is all about ui path licensing hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider sharing it in your circle so that it will help them to understand about ui path licensing and their different components so that's all about this video thank you for watching